Let's stop thinking that our voice don't matter. Mr. Floyd's murder has outraged a lot of people, myself included. I think the anger is about something deeper. You don't cure injustice with another injustice. And you can protest that peacefully, and you can demand that justice be served. What you cannot do is what we're seeing now. What we cannot continue to have is people taking to the streets and burning things down, attacking people, vandalizing property, threatening cities, a reign of terror in our streets. That has to end. I don't care how righteous you think your cause is. I don't care how, how great you think what you're standing for may be. No one has a right to riot in America. As a curfew neared, police in D.C. forced crowds back with tear gas. While some denounce this as an assault on free speech, Rubio says there are violent agitators who leave law enforcement with few options. I don't enjoy seeing images of Americans tear gassed in front of the White House, but we would all enjoy far less the images of a crowd out of control in front of the White House that, re that would require a stronger and potentially more tragic response. But, um, but, you know, and so none of it is an excuse. Now, I do think that one of the challenges we have is we have a serious crisis of confidence in this country. There is now literally no individual or institution in this country right. that can speak definitively about anything. And, I, and, and that's not an excuse for any of this, but it explains some of the things that create an environment that lead to this all across the board. And the media is shocked, you know, that, that they, they have zero credibility. They're viewed largely as biased. And then you have the censoring of, of news stories before an election. Uh, by the social media companies. And, and so the, and then you have these questions that in normal times people would look at and be able to work through. But in that environment of lack of confidence really sparks up. And, and, and I think those things need to be answered because elections, democracy doesn't just depend on having elections and depends on people's confidence in those elections. Right. And their willingness to abide by those results. They're interrelated. So that stuff can't happen. The second thing I would make is at some point, Everyone's got to step back here and realize that this has been brewing and building for a while, and it's all across right. the board. And, and, and there are real factors out there that are contributing not just to an erosion of confidence and trust in America, but some of the – you made a point, and I caught the tail end of it, and you're absolutely right. There is no such thing as a country in which you know, half of us are very happy and the other half is very unhappy. It just it can't, right. ha it can't work.